what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here we're going to be talking about scary movie six mostly in this video here today firstly i want to shout out you mike and the channel crazy dog 500 i'll leave a link to that video in the description of this one and in the comment section for anyone who just wants to jump to the comment section to get the link to the video but we're going to be talking about scare movie six what we can expect in scare movie six and some other things that have come from dave sheridan who we know starred as doofy in the original scary movie back in 2000 so dave sheridan who again starred in scary movie as doofy recently revealed some information on scary movie 6 and it kind of highlights why a few things have been occurring for those of you who noticed that marlon wayans followed melissa barrera on instagram a while back it make it kind of explains that and a few other things that i'll get into as as it relates to the fact that the film itself was supposed to shoot in the fall we're in the fall and now it's supposed to be shooting early next year he gave context as to why but let's just jump into it he says that he can 100 percent confirm that ghostface will return in this film and marlon wayans was confirming this by taking a photo and sharing it to announce that him and his brothers were coming back and he was quick to say that that was not him in the photo with marlon now i found that part to be interesting because again the rumored part of this that i've heard about is the fact that doofy would be back in some capacity now if doofy isn't the one that's back what i was hearing a few months ago was that dave had met up with some people related to the upcoming film and this makes sense considering he's now on a video giving very specific or discussing very specific things about the upcoming film he says that the script was around for a while and that mike bender or mike bender wrote it and it was prepared when the film got announced earlier this year so they've had this script announced for a while as they were putting the cast together the wayans were contacted and marlon said he'll do it but he wants to own the rights now when it comes to owning the rights i don't know how truthful this is that the Wayans own the rights. I guess we'll find out over the next coming weeks and months, but I don't think the Wayans exactly 100% own the rights anymore. But, you know, stranger things have happened. Then Marlon came on after that happened and said, I wanted to make the script funnier or said he wanted to make the script funnier because the Wayans will never do just someone else's script. So Scare Movie 6 is currently going through rewrites, but the original script did follow the storyline for Scream movies like the first film did, so we should prepare for Scream 5 and 6 to be picked at. He did question Scream 4 at one point during this interview, but he kind of ended up settling on 5 and 6 100% being picked at in some capacity. Dave jokes about them getting a hold of the new I Know What You Did last summer screenplay, so there's jokes from that movie as well featured in scary movie six i don't know how serious he was being there but i'm gonna go ahead and say that we should probably expect i know what you did last summer to be picked at as well he said he thinks it will cover saw terrifier and blumhouse's recent halloween trilogy dave also mentions this this one really made me smile he also mentions the fact that we are the fact that we are even concerned about them holding back with the jokes is proof that they should go all in and not hold back. It should be no holds barred. Dave says everyone should be lighter and be able to laugh at themselves and stop bottlenecking artists and their creativity because it just bleeds into every other aspect of entertainment and into life, as we've been seeing with several things. And I get that some some stuff can be offensive to others. The problem becomes you need to understand that obviously as a comedian they're not trying to hurt you and if you're going to a comedy show you would think that you would already have that in your mindset and especially knowing that the wayans themselves are a part of certain communities do you really think they're joking to be nasty and hateful <laughs> the whole point of a joke as far as i've been around was to make someone laugh at themselves or or just be just elicit some sort of smile or laughter from them even if it's a little bit of a dirty joke a little bit of a derogatory joke about them if you know the person telling you the joke isn't like that and obviously you know they're not trying to be malicious i don't know man you gotta lighten up sometime in life so hopefully he ends up giving us one of the more hilarious scare movie films to date that reignites this spoof 
subgenre that's died out the way that we saw in the 2000s not that we need to see a disaster movie or a superhero movie anything that's inferior but hopefully we can get some follow-ups or some inspire some inspired filmmakers that come out and make some quality spoof films that live up to scare movie six he says everyone should be able to be their authentic self and if you can't be your authentic self in a certain space Go find your crowd and be your authentic self there. And he's absolutely right. I love what he had to say in this interview. I'm excited that we 100% know that Ghostface will be back. We know that his screenplay has been ready, but it explains so much. It explains why Melissa Barrera was followed because from this interview, Dave makes it clear that five and six, screen five and six that being, are being used to launch this new film. They are attacking legacy sequels. Uh, he seems to think the Terrifier will be factored into this in some capacity. He speaks a little bit more certain, certainly about I Know What You Did Last Summer. It's just I can't really tell if he was joking about it or not. Um, he thinks that we will be following the Blumhouse trilogy from or from Halloween recently. So all of this stuff makes me excited. It explains why they didn't start shooting in the fall because the Waynes came in. They're going through rewrites. They want to make this their own thing and then they want to shoot it sometime in 2025 and hopefully the film can be released theatrically that year as well he did also make comments about having cindy back at the center and how she could be living like laurie strode and trying to avoid ghostface coming back and it's just not working all of that again is stuff that you guys were theorizing this video was just just uploaded on november 9th i'll leave a link to it for all of you to check it out but at least it at least for me confirms what I was hearing a few months ago was true in some capacity because Dave Sheridan was meeting up with people. I wasn't supposed to know about it, but I ended up knowing about it because of some very reputable people. And I, again, have this trust that Doofy will appear in some capacity because it was funny that he made it a point to kind of dismiss. That's not me in the photo with Marlon that he shared. Why are you so quick to dismiss it? <laughs> I think we'll be seeing Doofy again, but at least we know that Dave Sheridan is involved with Scare Movie 6 after all in some capacity. You guys can let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below. Are you looking forward to Scare Movie 6? Why or why not? If you haven't already, of course, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to all of my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.